Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering disjoint sets topic in DAS subject. Guys, I have uploaded complete DAS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Before starting this video, at first you need to know what is set. Set is a ordered collection of elements. I'll give an example. For example, I took some elements. These elements are not in proper order. These are in unordered format. Now I will arrange the same elements like this. So this is in proper order. So set is a collection of ordered elements. This is an example. Next I will explain what are disjoint sets. For example, let us consider two sets. One set is A and next set is B. Set A contains numbers 1, 2, 3 and set B contains numbers 3, 4, 5. In this set A and set B, 3 is common element. So we don't call this set as disjoint set. If there is no common element between these two sets, then we call it as disjoint set. For example, I return A equal to 5, 6, 7 and B equal to 8, 9, 10. If you observe these two sets, in these sets there are no common elements. So we consider this set A and set B as disjoint set. Now this set A and set B are disjoint sets because there are no common element between these two sets. Let us assume that Elements that are present in the sets are members. Sets are represented by pairwise disjoint sets. If SI and SJ are two sets and I is not equal to J, then there is no common element for SI and SJ. That means we need to take two sets. They are SI and SJ. And whatever the elements that are present inside these two sets, all these elements are members. And if SI and SJ are two sets, and i is not equal to j that means there are no common element between these two sets here inside si i took 1 2 3 4 and inside sj i took 5 6 7 8 so there are no common elements if there are no common elements between these two sets then we call this si and sj as disjoint sets so these are disjoint sets where there are no common elements and we can represent disjoint sets in three ways first one is by using tree representation next one is by using data representation and third one is by using array representation. At first, I will explain how to represent disjoint sets by using tree representation. A tree is used to represent each set and the root to name a set. Each node points upward to its parent. I will give an example. A tree is used to represent each set. Now, I will take one disjoint set and I will draw tree for this disjoint set. This is disjoint set SI. Now, I will draw tree for this disjoint set. Consider this first element in this set as root node. And this 2, 3, 4 remaining elements are connected to this root node. So 1 is root node and 2, 3, 4 are connected to this root node. Where this 1 is parent and all these are children. This is tree construction for this disjoint set SA. So tree will represent each set and the root to name a set. This 1 is root. It acts as name of a set. Guys, not only first element, you can take any element as root node. And each node points upward to its parent. In this, each node is pointing upward to its parent node, that is 1. Next, you need to know what is partition. A partition is a collection of disjoint sets. For example, this SA and SJ are two disjoint sets. Now, I will collect this SA and SJ and form a set, like SI, comma, SJ in one set. So, this is known as partition. Partition is nothing but collection of disjoint sets. Let us consider there are 16 elements and these elements are partitioned into 4 disjoint sets. Now I am taking 16 elements and I am creating 4 disjoint sets. These are 16 elements. So S1 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, S2 equal to 5, 6, 7, 8, S3 equal to 9, 10, 11, 12 and S4 is equal to 13, 14, 15, 16. If you observe all these sets, there are no common elements between these sets. All are different. So we call this S1, S2, S3, and S4 as disjoint sets. Partition is nothing but collection of disjoint sets. Now I will select this S1, S2, S3, S4, and then I will form a set. So we call it as partition. So I am taking partition that is P equal to S1, S2, S3, S4. Now I will draw trees for these four disjoint sets. In all these sets, I will consider first element as root node. And remaining elements as children's to this root node. So one is parent node and two, three, four are children's. 
these are four trees for s1 s2 s3 s4 with this 1 5 9 13 are root nodes and remaining elements all are children's guys not only first element in this set you can take any element as root node next i will explain what is data representation here we are using the pointer which is used to address each set by pointing the root node of each set to the pointer guys in this data representation we use pointers our set names are s1 s2 s3 s4 so draw them in a table these are four trees now take pointer this pointer is connected to root node of every set this set 2 is connected to root node that is 5 and similarly s3 is connected to root node that is 9 and s4 is connected to root node that is 13 in this data representation we use pointers this pointer is connected to root node of every set next i will explain array representation an array can be used to store parent of each element put the value minus 1 for the parent nodes guys this is example guys total there are four disjoint sets s1 s2 s3 s4 total there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 total there are 16 elements now i took all those elements as singular in these four sets 1 5 9 13 are parent nodes so we need to keep minus 1 for parents so keep minus 1 for 1 5 and 9 s4 that is 13 so let us take it as i i is nothing but array and p stands for parent i took here ip guys why i took here minus 1 for parent node 1 5 9 13 because already this 1 5 9 13 are parent nodes so they don't have any parent so i took minus 1 for 1 5 9 and 13 so this element 2 3 4 parent is 1 so 2 parent is 1 3 parent is 1 and 4 parent is 1 and similarly 6 7 8 parent is 5 so parent of 6 is 5 and parent of 7 is 5 and parent of 8 is 5 and similarly 10 11 12 parent is 9 so 10 11 12 parent is 9 and next 14 15 16 parent is 13 so 13 13 13 guys at first you need to arrange all these elements and then for parent node you need to give minus 1 and for remaining children node you need to give name of parent this is all about array representation